Oh my goodness. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to make my carnivore ice cream. It's really simple, only a couple of ingredients and like super easy to make. I showed it to you guys in my last What I Eat video. Some of you guys were asking for the recipe. So all you'll need is eggs. You'll just use the yolks. And then cream. I've got A2, A2 cream. Redmond salts, and then these two ingredients are optional, so you can add a little bit of raw honey if you do well with it, and add a little bit of vanilla as well. So we're just going to pour the cream in here. This is two cups of heavy cream. So you'll need four egg yolks. This is actually more egg yolks than most recipes call for the amount of cream that I'm using. But just trust me on this one, it's going to taste better with more egg yolks. I saved the whites and put them in the freezer. Then add a dash of salt. If you tolerate raw honey, then you can add about one to three tablespoons of it. Another optional ingredient is one teaspoon of vanilla. Then just mix up all the ingredients well. We use a KitchenAid mixer, but you can definitely just mix it by hand with a whisk or with a hand mixer. Just make sure all the ingredients are well combined. Okay, so you always want to keep the ice cream bowl in the freezer. And we just always wash it and then put it right back in. But you want to have it in here at least overnight, preferably like 24 hours. So it's cold enough for the ice cream to freeze as you turn it. Okay, got the ice cream maker. That's literally all you do. And there's one button. And it just starts the churning. And you want to make sure that you start churning before you pour it in or else the mixture will start to freeze on the sides. Set a timer for 20 to 25 minutes and check on it after that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. Are you trying? Yes. Okay. Well, that's good. And Jake's not a gusher, so that's when you know it's good. I mean, look at that. So this is how it is straight out of the freezer. It's still pretty edible, but um, you may want to let it sit out for just a few minutes so it softens a bit, but that's all there is to it. Another thing that's different about this recipe is that most ice cream recipes call for a mix of milk and heavy cream, not just heavy cream, but we found that just the heavy cream tastes a lot better and it actually makes the ice cream very low carb, especially if you don't use any honey. Over the last month or so, I've been experimenting with little bits of raw honey here and there and been doing fine with it. It's more of like a treat than, you know, a staple that I use every single day, but it's something that I've been enjoying. I prefer making the ice cream with raw dairy if possible, but if you don't have access to that or if you do well with just pasteurized dairy from the store, then that will work great with that ice cream recipe. That's what my husband Jake usually does for his and he loves it. Oh, and as for the ice cream machine that we use, I'll put a link to that down below. I hope you guys enjoy your ice cream. Make sure to subscribe and follow along on Instagram, and I will look forward to seeing you guys in another video very soon.